Um, if I had to define Cab Calloway, I would definitely say it would be the place where I can express myself with my trumpet. The place for creativity and enthusiasm. A uh, place where students can come and uh, gain a lot of experience uh, to help model their future in the arts. I love CAD. CAD is the one place where whatever you are, you come and you're welcome. It's a welcoming place. That's what CAD is to me. find a place to really like pursue what they want to do and get a chance to see what their dreams could be. The things I like about CAB are the um, teacher-student ratios. I think that a lot of teachers take out time to speak with us and to help us and they like push college. That's like the number one goal the entire time you go here. Whether you're in sixth grade or twelfth grade, they tell you about college from the very beginning and they they make you want to go to college, they make you want to succeed in life, and that's one thing, that's one really big positive thing that I love about CAB. Uh, I like the fact that I can come here and, you know, do what I like to do, which is play the drums, and uh, get to meet a lot of people who, you know, everyone here is talented, so when you're talking to everybody, you remember they have like a special talent, and it's cool to think about, it's cool to collaborate with people. Well, I'm not constantly uh, um, worried about how we're going to be able to achieve a different, certain types of music and I have the ability myself as a musician to push the envelope with the different types of music. I'm not stuck into the standard high school sort of uh, music that you would expect from a regular high school. <laughs> once a week for half an hour like at a normal school is really good and just the high standards are also really awesome because it gives me you know a chance to really you know try my best kind of thing. All this this grass is actually grass from over here and this grass is actually grass from over here. Oh my god no okay way. no wonder. Yeah. You did that? Yeah. Okay. I just feel really good when when a student proves to me that they understand something, that they understand a concept, and they, 
have a break breakthrough moment and create something amazing. Megan. Oh. Oh, um, It is a really nice effect. It reminds me in places of like frosting. Yeah. And in other places like. Cap Callaway is the most unique school that I've ever taught in. I have many years of experience, but I've never been to a school like Cap. We have an incredibly dedicated staff, and the students are the most amazing kids in the world. They each have their own unique talent and personality, and they bring so much into our school. I know, but I think Cap's a good, um, good place for like channeling more creativity, more expressively, not just like shot down. Okay. okay. Criticize here, it's not insulting. I love the the different um, levels and trying to teach the beginner levels and try to make them artists as well as the ones that have had more training and try to help them pursue their career in um, dance. I like to get them more, you know, well, knowledge about the world of dance, not just the um, physical aspect, but the mental and emotional aspect, teaching them the struggles of being a dancer in the real world and trying to get them to know as much about their bodies and about the world of dance. What is this play? And is it going to be great? Yeah! I can't hear you! Yeah! Um, I went to a different middle school and it was really hard. And uh, I wasn't really accepted, so here it's just definitely a place where you can be yourself. The students at Cap Callaway are, are really, uh, they're exciting and they're fun and, and they've got all kinds of character and charisma. Um, I think you get to a certain point in your career where it's really important to give back to your profession and working with these young artists uh, gives me a chance to um, help them um, to prepare so that they can join the ranks of the theater world and then someday help someone else. This is Jack Scott with the Late Breaking Wildcat News Flash. Students have been spotted singing and dancing on the tables in the school cafeteria. Cleats have gone wild in an unprecedented response to Troy Bolton's call back for the school musical. One skater dude was even seen playing with the school band string section. Oh, the humanity! The humanity! I think it's um, the people too. We're very outgoing and we're our we're able to be ourselves and it doesn't matter who we're hanging out with, even if it's people from other schools, we're still able to be ourselves because that's how we grew up in in the school like that's what we were taught here and my other schools I was a freaky math girl that's all they thought I was always screaming at me and whispering behind my back I hated it it made me feel like I was a freak that's kind of why I went to the low profile there, you know so I could just be me I love teaching, I love doing my job, and the, the kids here actually make it very easy. It's, it's nice to have the same kids and to see the progression from, from 6th grade up to 12th grade. It's, it's really neat to see how far they've grown. Uh, and I just, love, I just love what I do, so I don't mind coming to work every day. I come with a smile on my face, which is really nice. Coming here, I can actually express myself and show everybody what I can do. And I actually think I can succeed here. You see, in the other school I went to, you know, I didn't have, I mean, I had a whole lot of friends, but they weren't the friends that I was supposed to have. Like, they were friends going down the wrong direction. When I came here, you know, I actually had people that actually want to go to college, people that actually want to succeed in life. And here, like, it's just different. Like, that's why I chose here, because I mean, I could, I used to walk up the street every day because I live right down the street from here. And I could see how, you know, they stand out in front of school and play that little beanbag kicking game, whatever they do. I used to always want to come here. But, like, I never thought I had the skills to come here until I actually tried out for it.
first step into getting to where you want to be at with your main major, you will enjoy it. If you even have the slightest thought about coming here, you should definitely come because it's, it's an experience and it's a great one. I say come with a positive attitude and uh, just get ready to do what you love to do. Follow your heart, work hard, and you can get in. I would say to have an open mind, in what you want to do, work hard in what you have to do, and just to have fun, have a positive attitude. 